click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends and today we are going to study a problem number one which is based on initial value, final value and the convolution theorem of Zeton. Before moving to solution or the problems, you should know the statement of all the theorems that is initial value theorem, final value theorem and convolution theorem. Now we will study the numerical first and then we will move on to solution. Find initial value, final value of x of n if z transform is like a question z transform of x of n is given here x of z is equals 2 upon z square plus 1 by 6 z minus 1 by 6. Now initial value means we are going to find out the value of x of n at n equal to 0. n equals to 0 means at the start of function. That was nothing but and it was nothing but the initial value. Now what about final value? When n value approaches to infinity at that time, what is the behavior or what is the output of function that we are going to find out? So two values we are going to find out here. The first one is initial which means at n equals to 0 or you can say at x of 0. And the final value which means x of infinity that is n equals to infinity at both the values we are going to calculate. So first of all solution the x of z is given that is 2 upon z square plus 1 by 6 z minus 1 by 6. Now what we are going to find out first of all we will calculate initial value and then we will move on to final. So according to initial value the formula is x of 0. 0 is here we have substituted n equals to 0 because initial value means whenever we switch on or whenever we press the key of any switch then at that instant what amount of output or which is the output produced by x of n or x of z that we are going to see. So that's why I have substituted n value or I have replaced that this n value by 0. Now at this instant what is the output that's why we have used this formula that is initial value theorem limit z tends to infinity x of z. Now we are going to substitute x of z value over here. Now look at here suppose if we have a z square in the numerator then my suggestion is just take z square common from numerator and denominator so that what will happen now look at here here we have z equals tends to infinity which means we are going to replace all the z by infinity now what will happen if i replace all the z by infinity then the answer becomes infinite now if i if we have a z square in denominator as well as in numerator and if i take common then all the z will be replaced by 1 by z and we know that if I replace z by infinity then 1 by infinity is nothing but 0. So you can get the finite value when you have z tends to infinity. But right now in this question we don't have any z square in numerator. So just do one thing directly substitute or directly apply limits on this function and we'll calculate the answer. So I'm going to apply limits that is z tends to infinity on this x of z. So look at here both these z will be replaced by infinity. 1 by 6 into infinity is infinite in z square that is infinity square is nothing but infinity and this 1 by 6 is constant. Now infinity plus you can add anything or you can subtract anything the result is always infinite and we know that anything upon infinity that is right now here we have 2 upon infinity is always 0. So initial value of this x of z that is x of 0 is 0. Now we will move on to a final value theorem. Now we are going to find out a final value. So our x of z is 2 by z square plus 1 by 6 z minus 1 by 6. Now what we are going to do? We are going to apply final value theorem or we are going to use a final value theorem of z transform. So what was that? Final value means what? We are going to find out the response of x of z when our n value is at infinity. So that's why I have substituted x of infinity here the n value is replaced by infinity and the formula is limits z tends to 1 at z minus 1 into x of z. Now what is the next step? We will substitute the value of x of z. Now basically what is important if this z minus 1 is cancelled or gets cancelled then you can say that you will get the final result because if we substitute z equals to 1 or z tends to 1 if I replace all the z by 1 then look at here 1 minus 1 becomes 0 and 0 into anything becomes 0 which means we are first of all we are going to remove this z minus 1 but how first of all try to find out the factors 
of this x of z so what will be the factors just use the calculator or else use that formula that is minus b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4 is a upon 2a use that formula to find out the factors right now i'm going to use a calculator and directly i'll tell you the answer so what are the factors of z square plus 1 by 6 z minus 1 by 6 basically i have calculated the values and the values are so now look at it in both the cases we don't have z minus 1 so what is the next step now look at it in both the factors we don't have z minus 1 which means we are not able to remove this z minus 1 so now we will directly apply limit because we don't have any z minus 1 in the denominator of this solution so we are not able to remove this z minus 1 so after substituting limit z tends to 1 this z is replaced by 1 and 1 minus 1 becomes 0 and 0 into anything is 0 so if we apply limits then what you will get our answer will be 0 the final value of this x of z is 0 so this is the solution of this of question that is we have calculated a financial value as well as a final value and in both the cases we have got the result that is 0 so thank you for watching this video stay tuned with ikeda and subscribe ikeda for further more videos thank you so much